<sighs> now the boys are already talking about what color should we paint it? Because it'll look a lot better with some paint. <laughs> oh boy, custom coops. Sweet. Anyway, we're going to get started this morning. Big, big day. Dave's got DA racing competition. Junior's got back chatting. Dave's got shoe, shoe scratching. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, the best part, we've got sorrel on the stove that I handpicked yesterday. The last of it with some ginger. And I put a little cinnamon this time because Google told me to. I got my coffee. This is the face Jesus. of impressed nature. Check out nature Tyler, right there. No money. What? That bit Google tell us are foolish. Google said put a little cinnamon in it. What's wrong with cinnamon in my sorrel? There's an anti-Google campaign going on over here. Wow. You know what? Do you put cinnamon in your sorrel? Yeah, put it in the comments because some people don't appreciate good things when they smell it, see it. Who knows? But happy days, man. I hope you guys got your coffee and tea. You're going to need it. Yeah, we have sports shoes. Yes. Here we go. All 
right, graded performances this morning. <clears throat> Dave lost his A status. That's right, Dave lost his A status. Solid B. Mm-hmm, he got ready all right, but got a bit distracted by the junior over here, who now has his own brush and uh, can multitask. Look at that, brushing and walking at the same time while Dave's doing this, what do you call that, the stanky leg? The pigeon toe? I don't know. But we're off to school now. Gonna give G, G, gonna give Junior a, a generous C minus again. Just gets distracted, forgets things, forgets to yeah, yeah. put things away, <laughs> sees a fridge open and then can't close it because he's not the one that opened it. You know, it's little things in life that you're just like, wow, as an adult, it makes absolutely zero sense. But as a child, the logic just continues to evolve and whoo, but we got to school. We're not, we're going to school. Hopefully they get to school. A big DA day today. Dave's already practicing his running technique here, as you can see. Solid. That's the Dave running approach there. Wow. That's how he gets all limbered up and ready to go. <laughs> all right. Sonia's clouds are missing her because she's taking up the rear. Craig, no school. Because the parents... What is it? Parents, not Parents Day. It's oh, no, parents, yeah. what is it? Mm -hmm. It's like report day. Yeah, report. Like from last semester, they get a big fancy piece of paper with the grades and behaviors. And Craig actually, out of twelve students, ranked number one in his class. Although every single teacher put the comments number twelve, and number twelve comment meant if you looked at the key on the paper, unprepared for class. You know, all the days Craig comes home with no homework and doesn't say anything about it I don't know but he's doing all right and Dave's getting ready for this is are you limbering up here what do you call this what do you what do you call that 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 exercise you're doing Craig it's my receipt that's beautiful thank you yeah. 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 go to school Man, normal school days, we Craig, get peace and quiet. Here, you want me one dollar? <laughs> Sona is rather jovial this morning. Not sure why. Must have got. I don't know. All right, go look at it. Just eat, huh? Yep, it's today with Craig all day, the entire day. No way. Funny story, actually. Now that you're here and listening, bought that stapler gun, right? I was all excited to put some mesh on yesterday. Big old fancy stapler. Doubles as a silencer, but you buy a stapler, one would think <laughs> it would come with staples, but it doesn't. And my wife didn't, oh, you're zoomed in, hold on. My wife didn't tell me to buy any staples. Thanks, dear. I'm joking. So we're gonna get some staples today, and we're gonna put on some mesh today. Supposedly. Craig, you want Craig's no market? Yeah, man. It's gonna be a day.
Yeah, you know you got three boys living in your house when you just went to the grocery store. You swear you picked up food, and now you find yourself eating peanut butter and crackers for breakfast because there's nothing else in the house. And all of they they look at you like, what? I didn't eat everything. It wasn't me. Okay, going for my breakfast here. Thank you. Peanut butter and crackers. Watch out. Coffee round two. Watch out. Craig's going on a cadet trip for the weekend and he's trying to figure out what time the, the place leaves tomorrow. Super thorough investigation here. Who needs popcorn when you got peanut butter and crackers? They say he's in town anyway. He says, Oh boy. All right, we're back here over at Custom Coops, we're calling it. As promised, we got the latch on. We even put an extra security latch here because the door's a little loose, but if we look inside. Okay, roosty nest. Right there, four of them. Perch and even started a make the front of the coop haven't decided whether i'm going to close this off or keep it open for ventilation as of yet but you can see a nice little chi chicken door in the front starting to look pretty cozy i don't know hmm oh, yeah. maybe i'll get to put the mesh on today if i go buy some staples but watched a video yesterday about tape cool the door in the back see they actually had this piece be able to come down as opposed to this piece coming up so we might be adjusting that yeah if we secure this piece here then this piece could come down I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that or not unless I cut this out because I could cut that out. Yeah, just cut it straight down. Cut it straight down. It could work. Or we just pick it up. Tough choice. But the coop is almost complete. And now you know. <sighs> now the boys are already talking about what color should we paint it? Because it'll look a lot better with some paint. <laughs> Oh boy, custom coops. Sweet. Other news, I've been spraying these peppers like once a week with my homemade concoction, which doesn't prove to be working too well. Check it out. Yeah, these are my white fly friends. There's too many of them to, that join the party. And they're all over the place. So, it's bad, man. Look at that, jeez. Guys, why? Don't mess with my peppers. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna have to try a new remedy for the white flies because it's not working. Ah, uh, man. But the tomatoes are coming in nice. I'm gonna have to get some pegs, sticks for them real quick sometime soon because they're growing quick. Cucumbers, as usual. Even the watermelon's happy so far. And there's watermelon buddy over here. and creating the own trail over there. He's starting to climb up that one. And then we got Callaloo, Pop Choy, Cauliflower. Even the lettuce is starting to look nice. There. And round two garden. Just starting to come into its own. And that's your garden update. Now we're gonna see what we can do to put Humpty Dumpty Coop back together again. <laughs>
Oh. Okay, we found Craig a new home. Look at that. Oh, oh, you're doing great, Craig. <laughs> it's okay, you see with that piece of wood, you see the wood piece behind it. Yo. Yes, nail it into that piece. Watch your fingers. Alright, after some piecemealing together, we have the front of the coop. Even gonna have a little air vent with some mesh over there in the top. But the rest of it looks pretty solid. I know, even Craig can hammer a nail once in a while. And he can fit in here when we need to clean it out. He can crawl right in. It's gonna be great. <laughs> it's a joke, Craig. So now, last thing we gotta do is figure out this back door. Any ideas? No? All right, we'll figure it out. There it is, Craig's corn porridge, made by Sonia. Tastes like, hold on. Hmm. Tastes like corn and porridge. Try it sometime. Craig, how's the porridge? Wait. People want to know, Craig. It's good. Swan, how's the porridge? It's okay. Yes, you did. <laughs> Get him. So, funny fact, funny fact, fun fact, we bought hinges and the smaller hinges didn't come with any screws. We got screwed. <laughs> Thankfully the big door hinges did, but one thing that I enjoy about this project is that there's really no formal blueprint and you just kind of use what you have and make the best of it and i think that's that's my chicken coop metaphor and how this thing's gonna play out i hope was <laughs> just make it up as you go and do the best you can and sometimes in life that's what you get you only get dealt certain materials or uh, opportunities or whatever metaphor you want that to be and then you got two choices you can make the best of it and see what comes of it or you can sit and sulk and complain about all the other people that got hinges that included screws or those that didn't even have to get hinges because their chicken coop came pre-assembled, you know, and I'm quickly finding out that <clears throat> the the end goal, right, the the final chicken coop, I already know it's going to be a little underwhelming is not the word, but it's going to be a little less exciting once it's all said and done and complete because fun part or the process and trying to piecemeal this thing together is actually the most enjoyable part about it sometimes things work and that piece works oh, that's gonna go that's gonna go and that's gonna go and this will have a lovely piece of leftover zinc from the roof on top of it so if it doesn't officially line up and match up that's okay we're gonna do it anyway 
<laughs> We're gonna figure it out. That's right. That's what you gotta do sometimes. You just gotta keep working at it until your ancestors tell you to stop, as my wife would say when it comes to seasoning. But yeah, it's gonna work. Cool. Hi. <sighs> That's my chicken coop metaphor for today. Well, that was not <laughs> as any of the projects around here, very pretty, but I think we got it. I think we are ready for mesh and call it a day. Let's so custom lock one double whammy. Cool. Triple check. That's in, mesh is going up there, and now, this guy was not fun. I'm not gonna lie, like, you know, you when you, you feel like you know something, and then you realize you don't know something, and then you make mistakes, and you either give up or go back and do it again, and this is one of those give up, go backs and do it again thing, because, behold. Yeah, we tried to put the hinges on this side of the board and rather than the top of the board did not work so well so we had to give up and go back and really redo it but we have ourselves a nice little hinge door to pick up our eggs when they are ready and it also protects from the rain and don't judge this is recycled siding here as you can see we actually even added an extra piece to extend the end and it's gonna work I'm gonna go to Highgate and get some some staples for my staple gun, put some mesh on, and who knows what's gonna happen next. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, you ready? Ready? Rod. Let's go. Let's go. You got the bag? No, no. Oh, my shoes. Oh, thank you. You got your shoes? Your shoes ready? All right, Rod. Let's go. Road. Pull. 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 Oh yeah. Okay. You got it. Road. Watch the watch the car. Now we're ready. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Apparently Craig's not waiting for us. Get him. Stealing my show. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Yay! Are you good? Okay, cool. So, yeah. Where are we going? 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 Do you know where we're going, sir? Okay. We're going to Highgate. That's not Daddy. Yes! Rod. Right here.
that was fun. Just got through Western Union. Whoa, whoa. Oh, jump, jump, jump. Boy! Jump, yes. Boy, yeah. getting through Western Union's like pulling teeth. Uh, you need your ID, your TRN, your, uh, your tracking number, your amount, the person. Might have to give blood next time. Who knows? But shout out to Miss Beverly. Sent some money, Western Union. She wants to. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to tell you or not, but I'm going to anyway. She would like the boys to get some soccer shoes or football shoes to play with since uh, they've been known for the, as their barefoot bandits to hopefully. Well, now we got to go to Ochi and go find some soccer shoes. What do you think? Can you say thanks, Beverly? You can't say thanks, Beverly? Yeah! Yeah! All right! Yeah, that's right. 280 Jamaican dollars later and we have a thousand staples. The guy was like, do you have enough? Are you sure you don't want to buy another box? And I was like, Craig, if we staple more than a thousand times this chicken netting or mesh, then we'll come back for more. But <laughs> we got a thousand staples. Now we just need to get home and get stapling. But first, Sonia's going shopping. Me going shopping or you guys going shopping? I don't mean to go shopping. Oh, bye -bye. Yay! She sounds thrilled. Bye-bye. Alright. See ya. Okay. Oh, we just got a text from the school that Dave and Junior both got medals in their race today. So, kind of excited to find out when they get home how they ended up doing. Make your predictions in the co So, supposedly Dave is faster than Junior. Which, you know, he's older, so I understand, but the medals look pretty cool. We'll find out when they get home uh, just what place they end up getting. Really? You're older than me? Who ends up in the lead all the time? Exactly. No? <laughs> Let's go. shopping with us you get one of two things you get the baby or you get the bag Whew. it might get a little cooler at night man but that sun is not cool right now Craig you good Lee. don't worry I got the heavy stuff you, right it's honey oh boy yes I want concerned a grandparent of the year over here maybe Craig's got two different legs Lengths. Maybe Craig, don't shot. stop, dude. It's on top. Yeah, one tall and one tall. Oh boy. We made it home. Hello. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tell them. Where do you go? Where do you go? I'm gone. Oh, I guess he doesn't want any snacks. Sorry, Andre. Thank you. Andre. Come here, boy. All right. I'm gonna have to eat all the snacks all by myself. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. What? Hi. Andre, you know the drill. Come. Good evening. How was? Huh? Get up, man. We gotta talk. It's been a while. Baby's eating orange. You know the drill. How was school? Why was it boring?
You never did like it. Yeah, you make him. You're making him throw your seeds. Dang. Making him throw your seeds? Really? Okay. Anyway. Come here, man. Come here. We gotta talk. Wah. You know what? Wah. So, what did you learn? Something there. You learned something there. Ooh, my favorite. Where can I get I don't know. Where can I one? I don't know. Oh no, there's more. Hey. It's Sweetie Pie Mario with that walk of fame. That's all I got. Cool. All right. Oranges, I'll see you. I'll see you in the corner. Quiet time's over. Andre, anything else to tell the people, Tim? That was your break. What'd you eat? More something there? Uh, oh, nice. Was it good? Alright, are you ready to party? What? Are you ready to party? Yeah. Cool. Good talk, Andre. I don't know, but we should party now. Craig, I'll be in the back. Okay, being a little selfish today. Finally got the staples. Got the chicken coop wire cutter. Got the mesh. So, yeah, we're gonna be a little selfish and <laughs> listen to the dogs bark next door, but we're gonna put in the first few ourselves while the children are off frolicking about. We worked hard on this. We should be able to put in the first mesh, right? That's not whew, unfair. I told Craig, but he got distracted, so here we go. So this is what happens when you put your staples in the staple gun. And then you don't realize that the whole entire thing is not supposed to go in there. <laughs> you get a little left over. That's all right. We're going to, as we always do around here, we're going to make it work. All right. I'll show you guys the inside view. You see mesh go over the top of that. And you know it worked. <laughs> I'm starting to realize why I bought a thousand staples because <laughs> I'm going to go a little staple happy on this one, but I want to make sure it's nice and secure for whatever. They say, according to my Google research, to put the mesh on the outside because this stuff's rather sharp and that way the chickens don't have any issues with it. And maybe, and it's the strongest part supposed to be yeah for the outside i don't have a problem with chickens getting out it's a matter of worrying about things coming in but all in all i'd say uh that first mesh i'm gonna call that one a success by the way if you've never had the pleasure this is not a toy man this thing is some heavy doodle heavy doodle heavy duty stapling machine here so i'm gonna start measuring some things up and staple some more and Try not to have too much fun before the kids find out I'm back here and then they get wanting to partake. So bring on the staples. Oh no, I got caught. You won medal? Yo, I'll be right there. 
Uh oh. Sounds like I'm missing the story already. Yo. What do we got? What do we got? Show them off. Woo hoo. Good evening. Yo. First place. I never knew what place they got though. I just know I saw a picture of metal. And you got? Messi. Woohoo! Dude! You gotta run again? No, I'm going Wow, and you got your tie in the whole time? Oh boy, that's important. And you got Chee Chicks. Are they good? Oh. Let me see, let me see. Junior. Oh yeah, lens. Let me see. Nice. Around six schools. Six schools. So tell us the story. Uh huh. Uh huh. And then what happened? Trembling. They were running. And then. When we are go up the hill, mm -hmm. we, you climb the hill. Go, we pass um technical. We have to go up somewhere. Right. And then we have to come on guide gas station. Come mm -hmm. on again. And then done. And how far was the next person behind you? We are back. Oh, you won by a lot? Yeah. Oh. I think he could they start off before. Oh, okay. So you're tired? <laughs> Alright, sounds good man, good job. Uh, I'm putting the mesh up in the coop if you're interested in helping out. Your people. Sir, I was about you get them white from one. Mm -hmm. Yo, when you were... Oh, I'll tell you what you know, I see them too. Go along. Meanwhile, so Dave got first, Junior got third. <sighs> can't compete I'm like I got a coop with some mesh with, with oh and a kitty that I got to keep out of the coop yeah I seen you cat <sighs> those were the days anyway time to mesh part number two here we go Right, round two. Junior tested and junior approved. Little air vent up there for the above the door. Whew, again, probably way too many staples. But that's not important. Junior, let me see your metal. It's backwards. What's it say? Third. <laughs> it says third. How was the race? Give us the details. What happened? Some boy never coming. Uh-huh. And then, then, then on the top and tie his shoes. In the middle of the race? Yeah. Wow. So we just pass out him. Mm -hmm. Then Dia pass out him first. Then, then Rick. Then uh huh. Rick. And then, and then the police meet me. Yeah, um, the police meet me. Mm -hmm. I. It's a great story, Junior. And then they all lived happily ever after. Right? Okay, good story, Junior. One cut at a time, man. Doing great, Junior. Yep, I was right. Just a few short staples later and shooting. 
No, we're out. <laughs> Junior, good job. You put in a couple solid staples, but I gotta go get some more staples and then wrap up the small pieces. We'll see how far we can get. Wait, almost forgot. Junior, check it out. Check it out. Try our, our, our coop nest. Hi, lift in the middle here. Lift it up. Are you afraid of a lizard? Seriously? <laughs> it's a lizard, yes. Cool. But, Ooh. yeah, we're going to have to get you a little step stool to see all the, the nests. But, we have a hinged door. You have no idea how difficult that was to figure out for someone who doesn't have as big as a brain as he thought he did. But, right? I know. Ready to go, man. Cool. Two steps forward and one step back, man. Doing just fine, stapling along, and then the stapler stops working, and you replace the staples, and... <laughs> <sighs> but it's a start. Worst case, we'll just go back and get the little tacks and nails that you can put in. Man, but it's getting there. It's getting there. We got... This part done, this part done, that top part done. <sighs> and Junior's going to tinker with it. Oh well. Hope you guys have had an enjoyable day. We're going to call this one a night for right now and slowly but surely head inside and see what other adventurous stuff we can get ourselves into. Last try. Last try, Junior. Get him. Uh. <laughs> Nothing. Oh well. Just do my Andre. <laughs> you want to come see the coop? You want to come see the coop? Hmm. Come. All right, where's your shoes? Dave, you want to see the coop? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to the coop. All right, let's go. Boom. All right. Check it out. Oh, come on, sir. Watch your step, Andre. Take time, man. There's a longer step right there. Oh, you guys, that's great. Anyway. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So, uh, leave that alone for right now just because the. You can look at it from the other side. Yeah, this opens up with the mesh. I gotta trim this mesh off. But we, we meshed up here. We meshed this part. We meshed the. Hole up there, that's the little door for the chickens. You should have make something down here, Sutu. What? Cool. Why? That's the, where the chickens are gonna run. Hello, hello. Eh? Look. I know, the stapler's not working. The chicken, the chickens are gonna live up here. This is like the house. And then down here is like the play place. Oh. No, they don't fight, Junior. They play. Dave, come around here. Come them. around the back side. They play foul. All right. This is the back. This is where you're going to collect the eggs. Watch him show them, Junior. That's where you collect the eggs. Maurice, come on, man. Come, come. And then you can see inside a coop on the other side, Dave. Well, the, no, this, this zinc is going to go right here. But yeah, this is the perch where they're going to sleep. That's where the nesting boxes are. Put the 
Yeah, a ladder. No, man, we'll make a ladder. Tomorrow or the next day. After the coop is done. That's for the zinc. Leave that. We need that for the zinc. Well, right? Sturdy for chickens. Cool. Where are you going? There's no apples yet, dude. They're still coming. Back to the house. So, what do you do when you get frustrated with life and you're building projects that aren't working out? You drown your sorrels. That's right. This thing's been soaking for a good oy, 24 hours practically, and it's time to reveal. What we got? Here we go. Okay. Well, even though we're using pure Jamaican cane sugar, and the sense of this next one is. Not pretty. Here we go. Uh, Ray Ray calling. Or calls. She might still be on there. Mm -hmm. Only one jar fit for the sorrel. Thank you, Craig. Time to load it up and throw it in the fridge. Sweet. Oh, is it good? Is it good? Man, I don't even have to pickle the sorrel. You just let it soak after you boil it. Eat it fresh. But not much taste, but it's got enough. We're like, hmm, not bad. Oh my, the sorrel happy dance. Okay, and we're good. Okay, new found delicacy. Soaked sorrel, you just add a little bit of sugar to taste. <laughs> Nice little candy treat. Mm. Nice. All right, it is evening time, and we made it. And with every evening comes its ups and downs and all arounds, but when you can drown your sorrows, you'll be all right. Yeah, authenticity at its finest. Yeah.
Not every meal is going to be together around a table. Some people weren't ready. Some people were off on an adventure. And there it is. And we're working on it. But uh, it's homework time now. So I got to print some lessons for the boys who didn't exactly do too much schoolwork today because, first of all, Craig never had school because of parent stuff at the school. And Dave and Junior had their race of a lifetime, which uh, happy to say they placed first and third today. But that doesn't escape them from their obligations here at the house. So it's going to be a homework session for us and we'll see where the night goes. Thank you guys for I'm continuing to take part in whatever this adventure is going to be. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a good evening and we're going to print some homework and do some homework and drown our sorrows. Cool. What happened? No. What happened? No. What happened? <laughs> what happened, man? No. Tell me the story. It was like you won. Uh huh. And then what happened? He never did it. I know we did it. Uh huh. Cool. And then what happened? Hey, go to my mom with this, then go to No! No! And then they're gone. No, boy, what is your friend? Yep. Hmm, kids. Okay, we did it. Homework is done. Everybody got their allowance, hopefully. One of them still needs to bathe, but that's neither here nor there. Funny story for you for the evening. You're right. Story time before you go to bed, or we go to bed anyway. <laughs> I have a twin sister, right, for those that have been following, or if you don't know. I do, and it's fraternal, not identical, as I had to explain to the kids. Yeah, why don't we look the exact same? But either way, she called tonight and she was like, what's up? What's going on? How have you been? And I was like, well, we've been kind of busy, you know, retired life is extremely exhausting, but we've had some interesting happenings and such. And I was like, so did you watch some of our latest episodes? She's like, oh, maybe not the last couple weeks. And in her defense, I respect that. She's still teaching back in North Dakota, and I understand what that's like. But I was like, okay, so how do I explain the last couple of weeks' happenings to her over the phone in a short version? So I just turned the camera around and said, well, there's that one, and that one, and that one, and they're all living with us, and she... <laughs> True story in her response, she turned her camera around and there was a cat and a dog in the house together, not fighting, like next to each other, best of friends. And so, touche, Amanda, if you're watching today, like, how do you, oh, how do you explain to these kids, like, there's a dog in the house and a cat in the house and they're together and they're not chasing each other. 
And then Junior had the audacity to ask, does she have AC in her house? And I was like, well, they have a furnace, they have heat, and they have air conditioning, central air. I don't think you've really understood it, the fact that until my sister showed me that there's snow on the ground in North Dakota right now. <laughs> I don't know. It was an interesting adventure, but homework's done. We're wrapping up for tonight. Thanks for joining our adventure as usual. And we all know it. We'll see you on the other side. <laughs> wow, it's school time. You're right, but who are you saying goodnight to? Okay, good night, Andre. Good night, Tayo. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.